Hi all and welcome into this how-to video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to get the most out of Crew Chief. Um, I've seen lots of people just install it, pick the game they want, choose a nice voice and hit start. And while that's great, you're well on your way to um, having a much better um, iRacing experience, for example, in this video. A lot of this I'll cover will be applicable to a set of course of Formula 1 and R Factor and all the others. Um, but obviously my primary focus in this video is making sure you get the most out of Crew Chief iRacing relationship. But as I say, most parts will be uh, applicable to both. Okay, so let's deep dive into some of the settings you might be missing that um, you shouldn't go without. And the first one is the biggest one for me that Crew Chief has, and I am really pleased that it has, is auto refueling. So I'll just search for fuel there, because there's quite a lot of settings. Um, enable iRacing auto refueling when enter uh, entering pit in a race. So quite literally qu takes a look at your... Um, lap by lap averages on fuel usage and when you if, if, when this option's ticked when you enter the pit lane you'll get an audio message in your ear letting you know that they uh, the spot of the crew chief's gonna fill you to the end of the race um this is really handy if you for example don't have a fuel calculator uh, i'd still recommend using a fuel calculator just so that you can be assured that the decision it's making is correct because um my one bit of advice if you're using this feature and you've been in heavy tow the whole race and you're picking up a nice tow and you have been for 10 15 laps when you come to enter the pit uh, especially in like a gt car for example the calculation might be off if you're not going to spend the rest of the race in open air it could be enough to uh, mean you have to fuel save at the end so my one advice if you come into the pit heading down the pit lane and you've been in a lots of tow i mean lots of tow you know something significant and in a car where tow's highly effective uh, maybe just give it a click up on the amount. So when it gives you the audio message, you can go to your pit box, uh, the black box screen for fuel and increase it one click and I'm sure you'll be fine. Additionally, there's an option here for additional fuel to add to the finish in the race. Um, so in its example, 0 0.7 means 0 0.7 worth a lap. I leave it because as I say, if, uh, if it's just my average race, I let it do its thing. Otherwise, I give it one click if I've been in heavy tow or I'm concerned about anything or my fuel calculator's given me a a different calculation so this is fantastic um, as I say even if you are using a fuel calculator and you are planning on picking your own number this does no harm uh, once you enter the pit lane you can make any adjustments but uh, I think this gives you a much better baseline than um, forgetting so I like it um, next is pit box distance this is also a really handy one so coming down pit lane uh, I didn't really notice that I needed this for the longest time until I was in a really busy race. Um, lots of cars, I could barely see the guy holding out the thing, so um, I got some advice to enable this. When I found it, I haven't turned it off. So pit box distance countdown. You can also do it in feet, you can also do it on time rather than distance, and you can customise uh, how far the um, distance begins. So this just gives you an audible countdown in your ear just to make you more aware. Obviously, uh, don't miss your pit box, but it really does help give you a gauge on where it is if it's a busy pit box, and uh, that's fantastic. Okay, the next two, I use these religiously. So come into UI Startup and Paths, and we are looking for minimize on startup and run immediately. So I've got them both ticked, as you can see. Now let me show you what that does in Crew Chief with them both ticked. So I'll close Crew Chief. Let's give it open and radio check. That's all we get. Crew Chief's on, connected, and minimized. Ignore the beep. I'll explain what that is in a moment. Um, so I'm going to give it a stop. So um, that's fantastic. But I also use that in conjunction with if you've seen some of my other videos, iRacing Manager. Um, this tells these particular apps to boot up when iRacing boots up. So I've added Crew Chief. So when I fire up iRacing or get into the sim, Crew Chief opens up, Crew Chief itself starts running and minimizes itself. So to me, and for the last X amount of months, Crew Chief to me is just part of iRacing. You know, I don't forget to open it, I don't forget to close it. Uh, you can see I've got train paints and my SDK gaming overlays all customized here. Uh, so fantastic. Make sure you're using the, the partnership between those two settings that I just listed is... Um, is awesome so yep just to reiterate I'll show you those again run immediately minimize and start you don't have to minimize but it's just I find it cleaner uh, obviously I do a lot of video recording so I like my 
background to look clean when I come out of a race, but yep, really good option. You can also use the minimize to tray option. Um, I say you don't have to copy my settings. There, there are plenty of settings here to pick from. So I'm just highlighting uh, stuff that's really nice. Okay, next up is sectors report. So where is it? Timing. So you can, in practice and quality, you can have your sector reports at the end of the lap, always done. You can do things like report in hundreds rather than just tenths. And the other one is, oh yeah, uh, now obviously this might get a bit busy, but if you're new or if it's uh, something you want, obviously this, I'm just trying to show you some of the most um, settings that you might be missing out on. Race sector report at the end of each sector. So here in your sector times, not just um, uh, checking them on your delta. So as far as sector management, there's a lot more than you think that you can do with Crew Chief. Um, so make sure you customize these to your liking. Now, there are lots of these timings. Um, be careful with the one regarding incident points because if you lower it too much, you will um, it will miss calls on... Um, you'll get false reports on what, what an incident is. So the delay is there to help you. Okay, some other things is the rants. I'm sure you've heard um, your crew chief uh, having a mild go at you about something, about not hitting your marks. You can turn that off if you... Uh, it's novel at first, but I leave it on. But um, if you really had enough of him uh, having a go at you, you can uh, disable that. The other option that I can't run because I'm on YouTube, swearing messages. If you didn't know this was a thing, <laughs> um, entertaining is the word. He can get very, very angry about the guys behind or people closing on you or the way you're driving. Uh, but obviously... Not for children. Okay, the other thing is actually outside of all these settings. Now, as I say, there's a plethora. Like, make sure you give them a read. There's always a, resort, a, a reset to default button. All of them, or one by one. Also, you can set up separate profiles if you didn't want to commit to a certain setting because another sim, you want it slightly different. So you can set them up per sim, etc. Right, the other one is the voice recognition mode. A very underused feature that can be quite cool. So let me give you an example of how it works. Chief, what's the time? 12.47 p.m. Chief, can you hear me? Pardon? <laughs> right, so you've got voice. I didn't understand that. <laughs> Chief, what's the time? 12.48 p.m. Right. So voice recognition, I just need to be careful now if I say that word. So there are many options here. Hold the button, you can assign a button, press and release, always on, or the trigger word that I'm using that I mustn't say right now. The audio beep that you hear for the listening, you can turn that off in the properties as well. But if you're racing, it's kind of nice to know that he's there. Um, some of the examples you can say are immense. Remember, only certain ones are going to work for iRacing. Uh, but for example, what's the gap behind? What's the gap ahead? What's my be last lap time? What's my best lap time? What is my fastest lap? What is my position? Fuel level, fuel usage. You can ask what your license is, how your fuel is going to be at the end of the race. I like what's the time. Who's leading? Where should I attack? I mean, how long's left in the race? I mean, how have I served my penalty? Do I have to pit? Um, there are a lot. A lot, a lot. You can also change some of the properties that you may have set in here with regards to um, sector reporting or everything like that. So let's, I'll tell you what, let's jump into iRacing and we'll run through a few of the things that have changed so you can see them visually. Okay, so I've jumped in a uh, Skip Barber practice session. I'm gonna try and uh, work through a couple of the commands um, that we've enabled. Um, hopefully I can keep it on track and uh, convey how they work. Okay, so one we've already tried. Chief, what's the time? I didn't catch that. What's the time? 1.01 p.m. Chief, who's leading? Blanco. Chief, how long's left? One hour, ten minutes remaining. Chief, what's my best lap? We haven't got that data. Chief, what's my last lap? Your last lap time was at 
So I've just jumped in the session. My best lap probably hasn't registered because um, it might have had an incident or something. But so there's a list of commands we'll go through at the um, end of the video that you can say to Crew Chief. So we'll pull into the pits and um, so you can see the, the pit box countdown. Bear with me. But yeah, the list of commands you can say. I mean, I'm just saying the word, you know, chief. Can you hear me? Repeat, please. All right. Can you hear me? All right. Okay, David, I can hear you. All right, let's come into the pit and hopefully we'll get the countdown. Yeah. Hopefully it's not just races. Watch your speed limit in the pits. Pit lane speed limit is 80 kilometers per hour. Yeah. 100 meters. There you go. 50 meters. So you can set it to time, obviously, if you want. Um, but yeah, let's get out this car. Okay, so make sure to customize these all, all these settings to fit yourself. Um, a list of some of the verbal actions that you can take are here. Remembering that they are dependent on how much data you've accumulated, what type of session you're in. Some will only work in the race. But you can ask questions such as, how many? what's the incident limit? How many incidents have I occurred? What's the SOF? Um, loads of pit stop information. Um, some things iRacing gives access to, some don't, but um, learning these and practicing them are a big help. Um, obviously, me personally, I have my um, hards and overlays all set up, but sometimes our biggest mistakes can be made by visually trying to analyze from the information we see in our overlays and sector analysis, and we can make mistakes. Whereas this allows you to stay laser focused on the road, laser focused on your braking points, other cars in the mirrors while speaking and hearing your actions. So don't underestimate the power of this. I come from a long line of Formula One background um, and they've had these sort of features baked in for a long time um, and it can be really helpful. Um, you don't see me using it much because obviously I record on my races and... Um, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, it might be something I dabble in, but um, we shall see. Uh, so obviously, these are just some of the uh, things I found most helpful in Crew Chief. There's a plethora. Oh my god, that's going to get old pretty quick. A plethora of other features enabled. Um, but yeah, make sure to try them out. I hope you enjoyed this video, and down in the comments if you have any questions, or Discord if you've got any long questions. But other than that, thank you very much. Like if you like this video, sub if you want to see the next one. Bell notification if you want to know when my next video drops. But other than that, as usual, thank you very much. Thanks for the support, and I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.